hello, hello there. Um, this is Nancy Ekpezu, and I'm totally excited to be with you this um, evening in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria, to share on the topic, um, the importance of mentorship, the importance of mentorship. Uh, a bit in the introduction of myself. I am Nancy Ekpezu. I'm the convener of the Facebook group, Educational Administration Network, with over 10,000 members. It's a group I started um, in, in July 2017, and we have grown to over 10,000 members in several countries and continents you know, across the world. I'm also um, a school administrator, a seasoned school administrator in Lagos, Nigeria, and I am the author of the book Dear Educator, um, which was published um, just this month and is already available in several cities across Nigeria and is making its way to Ghana, India, Cameroon, and some of the countries already. So I decided that I'll share this evening on the topic, the importance of mentorship. Thank you. I can see several people are already joining. Please um, get on and uh, invite other people so that we are more. The more we are, the merrier. I'll pause a little to begin to invite my friends in. I, I'm sure quite a number of people may have forgotten that I was going live. So let me just invite several people to join us so that we are more than what we have currently. Thank you. It's always my delight to be um, to go live to share on various topics. I know I haven't done this in a very long while. And if you can hear me, please um, just uh, let me know if you can hear me. Is the audio fine? Is the video fine? I would like to get feedback from you. Please join me and invite your friends. I always like it to be, uh, you know, interactive. And I like to have a whole lot of people with me whenever I go live. Thank you so much. Ngozi says a beautiful evening to you, Nancy. Thank you so much, Ngozi George. I actually look forward to meeting you. Um, so like I said earlier, the, the topic is the importance of mentorship. The importance of mentorship. The importance of mentorship. So that is the, what we'll be treating um, this evening in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. It's evening here. It's um, you know about 6 p.m. in Nigeria. I don't know what part of the world you'll be being from, but I know that uh, you know it could be a good morning or afternoon or evening or night somewhere else. Okay, so I'll take the topic again, the importance of mentorship. And in case you're just joining, this is Nancy Ekpezu. Like I said earlier, I'm the convener of the Facebook group Educational Administration Network, which started in July 2017, and we've grown to over 10,000 members now. I'm also a seasoned school administrator with over 25, about 25 years experience in the education space in Nigeria, and I've worked around various schools uh, in the various geographical zones uh, in Nigeria. I'm also the author, the proud author of the book, Dear Educator, uh, which was published just this month and is already making waves in several um, cities across Nigeria and also um, getting to go outside Nigeria as well. So um, this evening, there are several aspects of mentorship that we'll be looking at. We'll look at uh, the definition of a mentor, who is a mentor, and what are the benefits of mentoring? Why do you need a mentor? Then we'll look at uh, what you should look out for in a mentor, and we'll also look out for uh, what is it in the is what is it in mentoring for the mentor him or herself you know some people think it's all about the mentee but mentorship also benefits the person who does the mentoring and then uh, what is it uh, in it for the mentor I've mentioned that and then we'll also look at how do you get a mentor when do you need a mentor who needs a mentor Okay, so I'm starting right now. I have nine people with me already. I would like to say thank you so much for joining me. I can see uh, oh, quite a number of people. Jessica is already here. Thank you. Uh, Uzoma, Wauduma, Diferechi, Grace. Thank you so much. Sylvia Igori, thank you for joining. Anthony Balbi, thank you so much for joining. Uh, Victor Ogumbeku, Tosi. 
um, praise forward. Thank you for joining. Gozi George is here. Thank you so much. Tommy Wagunremi, thank you for joining. Gift your mother, eh? thank you. Roslyn um, Muyuhe from Abuja, thank you so much. And I can see a Russian name. I guess that's one of my in-laws, actually. I can't even read the name, but uh, thank you so much. I guess that's one of the uh, in-laws I have out there. Thank you so much. Um, Shibu Monday, thank you. Lola Adeyemi, thank you very much. I really, really, and my mentor, Rotime Itayo, thank you for being here. He says, well done. Thank you, Rotime. Um, thank you, Baba Tunde Ogundele. Thank you for being here. Okay, so I'm starting right away. The importance of mentorship, that is the topic, the importance of mentorship. So um, who is actually a mentor? You know, so, um, recently there's been a wave of people just, you know, uh, posting things, starting mentoring groups and all of that, which is very good. Um, but who, is, who actually is a mentor? Uh, I think a mentor is somebody who is um, you know older than you in the profession, not necessarily in age, sometimes in age, and who you can look up to and learn from, uh, you know, how he's been able to apply certain principles to get results in the area that you seek results in. A mentor is also someone who sees, you know, the potentials that you have and recognizes them that you may not even know and urges you, gives you a, a sense of direction, you know, to be able to, um, um, pursue the things that you know uh, are really in in there in you that um, others may not see. So a mentor may see potentials in you that you may not even recognize, that you may not even know that you have, or that you know you have, but you do not know how to tap into it. Okay, so mentorship is very important. Um, you'd be surprised to know that even people like Mark, who started this Facebook we're using now, actually did have a mentor. You know, when I read up about his life, I got to know that he had a mentor. He had a mentor, okay. And uh, even people like uh, uh, so many people. If you look at very successful people, when you read their biographies or their autobiographies, uh, one of the things that was struck you is that there was someone in the background who may not have been recognized openly, who was urging them and telling them, "Yes, you can do it," or "I recognize this in you, and you can you can make it. It can happen for you," you know, and things like that. And uh, personally, I can apply that to my life. I remember. Uh, my career was just coasting by until I had a boss who actually took an interest in me. And I, the book, The Educator, was actually dedicated to Ms. Chuk um, Ozege Chukuma. She was one boss I had who made a difference because she took a step further than just being a boss and she decided to informally mentor me on the job. And she made a whole world of difference, you know, in my career by just coming into my life you know, on a closer level for mentorship. Okay, so now I guess I've been able to define who a mentor is. A mentor is someone you look up to who has certain qualities and has achieved results in a certain area that you would like to have in you, in your own life. You know, who has applied the, re, the principles and you're seeing the results, you know, in their lives and you want to be like that, okay? Okay, then what are the benefits of mentoring? Why do you need a mentor? You know, uh, even at my age right now, I actually have just got myself a mentor because everybody needs a mentor. So why do you need a mentor? A mentor will open you up to a world of possibilities. You know, it's like riding on the shoulders of someone who has made mistakes and who is saying, you do not have to have it the tough way that I did. Uh, you know, I've made my mistakes. You can learn from it. These are the things to avoid. These are the areas to pay attention to you know, and things like that. Uh, and the mentor also um, improves your network. Through mentorship, you get, um, a, a, you know, relationships around you that can actually um, act as support, like a support base for you to be able to push you to your next level. Okay, uh, mentorship also opens you up to, you know, your possibilities, the things that are inside of you that you've been wondering how you can do. Sometimes you have great ideas, but it just takes a mentor to, you know, synthesize them in a certain way and help to give you a certain sense of direction instead of scattering your energy, you know, here, right, center, you know, indiscriminately. So a mentor could give you, give you, um, could give you a clear sense of direction. A mentor could also 
um, you know, um, help you uh, with resources and got career counseling and guidance. So those are some of the things that mentorship would do. Rotimi says mentorship is a cycle effect. I believe so too. It's actually a cycle effect. It, and that is really, really great. So men, those are some of the things that mentorship would do. It will help you to avoid the mistakes that the mentors have made. It will open you up to resources. It will open you up to relationships. Okay, it will also help you to recognize your own potential, the potentials that you don't, you do not even know that you know you have. I remember when I took a, a coaching um, certification with Larry Olushola, and um, when we were closing, he said to me, he "said Nancy, I see far more than what you're doing now." I must say that that was one of the things that motivated me to write the book, Dear Educator. So, uh, men, he even though he wasn't a formal mentor, I just did a course, you know, I did his uh, certification in um, life coaching. But I still remember some of the things, you know, he told me we were ending. And I must say that that helped to, um, help to boost my um, confidence that I could do a few more things than what I already was doing. Okay, so. Um, those are some of the things. There are a lot more. Those are some of the things that mentorship would do for you. And then uh, what should you look out for in a mentor? What should you look out for in a mentor? Um, you know, it's not just everybody who can mentor. Uh, not everybody can mentor. Mentoring is, a, you know, involves some skills and uh, they can actually be learned. So that someone has got results in their lives does not necessarily mean that you're going to make good mentors in your life. When you, need a, when you need a mentor, there are certain things that you need to look out for. One of them is credibility, because character is very important. You should also have someone who is trustworthy. Um, you should have someone that you'll be able to, um, who keeps secrets, because you'll be sharing some uh, details about your life that are probably not open you know, for public consumption. And um, you should also look out for someone who has achieved tangible results in the areas that you actually seek, you know, to um, to improve on. And then um, you should um, look out for someone that you connect with. You shouldn't have a mentor that you're utterly afraid of. Some people say anybody can mentor you, but I, I don't. I do not personally believe that. I believe that you should have someone that at least. Uh, you should be able to be comfortable in their presence enough to learn from them, uh, not someone who cuts across as a tyrant, you know, or something. And then you should also look out. Character, like I've said, is very important, very important. You should have um, someone that you can trust. There should be some elements of trust. There should be um, some more people have joined us. I'd like to recognize Anu Den, Ayo, Agumbi Ade, Labelle, Ren, Dakwa, Henrietta Atimele, George Bolutife, Alfred, Kikai Gokwe, Bosun Adedokun, um, Adebisi Olai Kamatins, Ezio Guchuko Emeka Kayode, Patience Moses. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, Yinka Oserimi Olotu, that was my senior in secondary school. Thank you so much, Yinka, for being here. Okay, so those are some of the things that you need to look out for in a mentor then um who needs a mentor everybody needs a mentor no matter the stage of life you're in you actually need a mentor at the beginning of your career you need a mentor if you want to get married you should have a marriage you know a mentor who, who you know actually um you know is there to guide you through a marriage you know the principles that make it work and all that and uh, if, if you're transiting from your career uh, maybe one uh, stage of your career to another, maybe you're leaving a job for another, you've been promoted to a higher position with more responsibilities and more skills required from you. You do need a mentor to put you through to be able to excel at that next level. And, and then um, yeah, everybody, practically everybody needs a mentor. And you need a mentor in various aspects of your life. Sometimes the mentor you have for marriage may not necessarily be the one for your career. So people have their areas of specialty and areas where they have got tangible results that you look up to them and hope to be like them in those areas. Then what is it, what is in it for the mentor? You know, mentorship is not just about the mentee. Um, coming to receive is also very enriching for the mentor, mentor himself. 
um, a mentor gets to grow. I remember when I took on my current job and I had to mentor the heads of schools under me and share my experiences, you know, guide them through how things are done in a, you know, um, uh, you know, school uh, professionally accepted um, standards worldwide for school administration. I found that I began to even grow more than, you know, when I got on the job because I was sharing and, you know, in sharing my experiences became more real to me. And I saw that I could, uh, it was my joy to see, you know, that I could actually raise leaders under me the way that I, you know, I wanted to. So that's one of the things that you get from mentoring. You, the mentor grows even better. And your journey makes more sense when you can put it together to be able to share with others to guide them. And then it also helps to boost even your confidence the more. You know, sometimes even when you've achieved things, um, you don't really know that they mean anything until you begin to uh, impact others with them. So it, even your journey becomes more meaningful when you begin to mentor other people. Another is that uh, mentorship um, also opens you up. I've said that it opens you up to growth. I've said it um, helps you. It helps even your self-confidence. It, it makes your journey more meaningful. And then um, it gives you, you know, you're able to leave a legacy. You're able to leave a legacy behind. When you have skills, you, you don't want to die with those skills. You don't want to die with the experiences. You want to be able to reach out to other people to, to see that they can achieve the same results that you did with the principles that helped you to get those results. And so you can, um, you know, share them in a way that others are able to, to learn from you. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that, those are some of them. Who needs a mentor? I've said everybody needs a mentor. How do you get a mentor? One of the ways you can get a mentor is um, by looking at the lives of the people around you. And with social media now, it's very easy to locate people that you, know, you could at least want to be like in certain areas. So you could um, search out for specific areas. Maybe you're into management and you need mentoring in that area. Maybe you're into leadership or school administration or you're a teacher hoping to do um, a lot better in your, in your craft. You can actually look out you know, on, the, on the internet, um, on social media, on LinkedIn and begin to link up with people uh, hook up with people who can encourage you on your journey and be there you know to assist um you can also look around at events maybe um speakers facilitators and all that you look around and say okay who are among these people that that have spoken today would i like to be like who really touched my life today at this event and then you walk up to them exchange numbers you know um, contact details and follow up later so that you can have a closer relationship. You can also, if you're the spiritual type, you can prayerfully pray for mentors. You know, a few people have walked into my life in ways that I couldn't quite explain. I knew, you know, there had to be a divine hand to it. Okay, so um, that is it. Then, um, um, how do you maintain mentoring relationships? You need to be open, you need to be teachable, you need to be real. You need to be real and share your, you know, your challenges and the areas where you really need help. And you should also know that the mentors are not perfect people. They may make mistakes once in a while that could put you off. So you need to be able to manage the relationship between you and your mentor in a very positive manner so that you're able to keep it um, going effectively. Okay, so having done all of this, what is your next step? Identify people at least three people that you would like to get close to. Maybe you need someone in public speaking. Maybe you need someone in school administration. You need someone in leadership. Look out for them. Make the right steps to connect with them. They won't just fall into your life, you know, from the blues. You make the effort to get in and tell them exactly that, you know, you need, a, you need help in this area or this is the area you're struggling with and you need to have... Um, you know, a mentoring relationship with them. And some mentoring relationships may be free, some you'll have to pay for, okay? And uh, when you pay for it, maybe that helps you to place a value on it and, um, you know, take it more seriously. 
So I just wanted to share a bit of this um, with us today because a few people have asked me, why do you need a mentor? Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do that? So that's basically it. And uh, the importance of mentorship is actually one of the things I shared in my book, Dear Educator. And in case you haven't seen the book or you haven't, let me see. Okay, I think I have it here. Um, Dear Educator is, uh, is a book I just, I wrote that just that was just published um, this month and it's already making a lot of waves uh, people are asking for it in other countries as well so making arrangements to um, see how it can go on amazon and also be available in other countries so this is my first book dear educator and mentorship is one of the things i shared here uh, why you need a mentor on your journey as an educator or, you know and in other aspects of life. So the educator is available in Port Harcourt, Abuja, Lagos, um, Calabar, Uyo, Benin. And if you need a copy, I'm going to share the, the flyers that have the details of all of the people that have, uh, that are the distributors and who are helping me out in the other cities across Nigeria to have them. Um, the educator will also be available on Roving Heights, is an online bookstore. So I'm taking some copies there on Saturday and hopefully by Monday, that should be up for sale. And to, you'll be able to have them delivered right to your doorstep. Okay, that is it. So um, it goes for 3,500 Naira, but if you're buying a few more, more copies than five, you get a discount and you get it at 3,000. It's a book that has an international appeal. Anybody, everybody who has um, got a copy has had so much to say about the book. Today, someone called me and said, this book is life transforming. I'm so glad I've made the investment. So please, if you're in Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Uyo, Calabar, Benin, the educator is available right in your city. And um, if you're going to order online, you'll get it on Robin Heights online bookstore. He's also going to be on Conga shortly so you can have home delivery. So thank you so much. I'd like to take questions now. I would like to, oh, Rotimi is making a contribution. He says consistency. Okay, yes, that's one of the qualities for, for mentorship. And he says an awesome session, Nancy. The book is a must have. Yes, it is a must have. In fact, they're actually available at, um, in, in Lagos at uh, the Team Masters Office, 51 Okwebi Road. It can, it can Lagos. It's available in Port Harcourt. It's available in Uyo, Benin, Calabar, and um, several other places that we're still working out. So, so it's um, people are already asking for it in Cameroon, in Ghana, in India. I have a few people from Pakistan who have called already. So it's a book that is going to go places. And um, in Cameroon, people want me to translate it to French. So I'm already getting a translator who will be able to work that out as well. So thank you very much. I'll take questions now. Um, Peter Nwato has just joined. Modu Peoreido, thank you for coming. I still have so many people here. Adesonya Adeshola. Ernest of Amazing Childhood Friend. I remember him from way back uh, primary school days. Thank you so much for joining. So um, let's have questions, please. And then we will, um, you know, call it a day. Thank you so much. Okay, Rotimi has shared the office address, second floor, 51 Okwebi Road. I just sent Spa Shopping Mall after Salvation Bus Stop Okwebi. Lagos. That's the Lagos address. It's also in Port Harcourt. It's in Uyo. It's in Calabar. In fact, in Calabar, Calabar has two uh, places you can get it there. And I'm going to share the flyers in the comments where those, these books are available. You can get a discount. School owners are already booking to have them as gifts for their um, teachers, as gifts for the end of the of, end of the session, which is really good. And there's a huge discount if you're buying in bulk like that. It will also be at, um, it will also be at, uh, I've been given an author, a place in the author stand at the, um, at the conference coming up, the largest conference for educators in Africa, uh, coming up um, on the 6th and 7th of June. Okay, that's the TOSE, Total Schools 
um, support, so total schools, seminars, and exhibit support and exhibitions in Lagos. Okay, so thank you. Um, Chichi says, "How? Where do I get the book in Lagos?" Please check Rotimi's comment. That is exactly where you get it. Becky Emiko has just joined. Thank you very much, Becky. IJ Benedicta has joined. Thank you very much, IJ. So if you have questions, please post your questions. I'd like to take them right now, and then I'll um, we can call it a day. It wasn't meant to be a long, long broadcast, just a short one to address the issue of mentorship. OK, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. Do we have questions? You can send me a WhatsApp message on 0803 5880367. Okay, so I'm waiting for the questions. I haven't seen questions. Let me check the phone. Maybe the questions are here. Do we have questions? Any questions? Oh, none. Uh oh, I haven't seen any questions. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for your time. It's been my pleasure sharing on the importance of mentorship today. Okay, till I come your way again next time, I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you. Okay, Isaac Olushola has just joined. Right, Chuku Chuku Neme has just joined. Thank you so much for joining. Kemi Olabode has just joined. I guess you have to watch the replay now because I'm actually signing up. Unless you have questions on mentorship, then I'll just take them quickly and then we'll move on. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really, really appreciate your time. Okay.